Welcome everyone to class. Uh, so we're going to start at the very, very, very beginning. So we're going to start off with a little welcome. Hiya. Uh, so this is the first uh, uh, lecture thingy uh, for class. So we're going to start off at the very, very beginning. So what do I mean by very, very beginning? Um, just literally the beginning. So we're going to ask what is probability um, and how do how does that interplay with what we're doing in mathematics? Uh, so what we're going to start off with doing is we're going to look at first off what are events. So what is probability? It's basically when we're it's a study of chance. So like what are the chances of something occurring? Whether that's winning the lotto or whether that's your favorite team um, in some tournament winning. Um, well, the idea is basically to use probability to figure out what are the chances of something happening or something not happening. Um, and since in mathematics we like to be something, do things precisely, uh, when we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take this word chance and we're going to make it as precise as possible and basically make it into mathematical terms in order to be able to work with things and be able to handle things. So we're going to start at the very, very beginning. Um, and I said that like five times, but that's okay. We're going to start off with events. Uh, so an event, uh, so let's go to what we're kind of working with. So say we're flipping a coin, like no, normally we're trying to think of like easy things like flipping a coin, rolling a die, playing the lotto. Like these are all simple models of what we might ask of like, um, probabilistic models of like things of chance. Right. Uh, and so like, let's think of like flipping a coin, right? When you flip a coin, you have two cho two options, heads or tails, right? So you have a 50-50% chance to land in either of these two options. Uh, and so this is where we're going to come up with like events and outcomes and stuff like this. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is, um, I guess we'll start off with the example rolling a dice. Uh, so let's start with rolling a dice. So say I want to roll a dice. Um, and I want to figure out my chances of rolling a particular number. Um, inher inherently, we know this, right? We know it's one sixth of a chance. There's six sides on a di fair dice. Um, we roll it. We got that's it, one sixth, right? But how do we do this in a more mathematical way? So first off, we're going to need to list all the possible outcomes, right? So first, take all possible outcomes, uh, and we put them into a set. Uh, and so this set is called the sample space. Uh, because it allows us, it's basically what we get, we're going to sample from, right? Um, and we usually denote it with this omega. So an omega normally in the text is going to mean some sp sample space. Uh, so if you're following along in the book, note that the book calls it an outcome space. Um, the book is from 93, so a lot of the terminology has changed since back then. Um, now most people call it sample space. Um, I have little links uh, to Wikipedia as we're going along. So feel free to click on um, any of these links. The links are in green. Um, so they might, so I don't like the big blue vibrant colors. So they're green for the links, just a heads up. Um, but yeah, so you can click on those uh, in order to go, go along. Um, so when we roll a six sided dice, what are our potential outcomes? Well, we have the number one, the number two, the number three, the number four, the number five and the number six, right? So we have six different outcomes. Um, well, first off, that's the definition of an outcome, some element in our set. So here we have six different outcomes in our sample space. Uh, and that gives us the term outcome, right? Oops, it's good. And so something that may or may not be an outcome is what we call an event. So like rolling a number is an event. Uh, and we'll get more precise with all of this later on, but for now we're laying the groundwork. Um, so some of the events we might have, for example, um, is the dice rolling a six. That's like one event we might have. But that we're not restricted to just asking, well, does it roll this number? We can ask more complicated events, such as the, does the dice roll an even number? Why is this not writing? There we go. Oh, it just lagged unlag, uh, does the dice roll an even number, right? We can ask this question and it's a yes or no question. Uh, these, these are the kind of things that we're going to ask with probability, yes or no questions. Um, the dice rolls a number less than three, right? So this is another question we might ask the dice 
or the dice doesn't roll a four, we can ask the contrary to something. So these are all different options we have when we're talking about rolling a dice. Uh, so let's look at, uh, um, so let's look at an example. Uh, and then we're going to go into some language things. Uh, so a quick example, uh, let's highlight this. Uh, and we're going to do something with this class. So this class has roughly uh, 200 students. Uh, it actually, I think we're now at 230. We start off with 190, but people keep asking to join the class. So we're at 230. This is going to be fun. P.S. That means it's going to take me longer to grade things. So don't expect them the next day. It ain't happening. Uh, <laughs> just a heads up. Uh, so we have roughly 200 students. Um, and then I'm going to put everyone's names into a hat um, and I'm going to pull one person's name out arbitrarily and we're going to say this person that I just threw out gets an A plus in the class. No questions asked. That's it. You don't got to do any work. You don't got to show up. No exam. Nothing. You got an A plus. Obviously, this is not happening. Little caveat. But anyway, we're going to pretend this is what we're doing. Uh, so what is our sample space? So in this case, our sample space is going to be all of the students, right? We have we put 200 names in the hat. So every name is going to give us one option. So student number one is in this set, student number two, all the way up to student number 200. 200. Um, so I would say pause the video for like five seconds um, or I'm gonna pause the video uh, or bleh. I would say, I'll give you five seconds to pause the video. There we go. Um, and try and list a couple of different events uh, that you might think of, like something that just uh, try this out. It'll take like a few seconds, but we'll give you five. Cool. So hopefully you wrote some things down um, and hopefully they were uh, decent. Well, I mean, they're going to be decent, but you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed um, writing some things down and hopefully some of them were a little weird. Um, if not, I'm going to add some weird, at least one weird one. Uh, the last one I think is weird, but it's fun. Um, so first one, I guess they're all. Yeah. Anyway, um, the first one is I am the winner. So I guess this one's weird of the raffle. So in other words, um, I'm the person who has won me. My name's not in the hat, by the way, so don't worry. Uh, but the point is that sometimes you might ask something that doesn't make sense, but that's still appropriate, right? So I can ask whether the dice rolls ahead. Like, that doesn't make sense, but at the same time, we can ask it. And we know in that case, like, it's not happening, right? Like, the dice doesn't have a head on it. My name's not in the hat, so it's not happening. But we can ask these events regardless. Um, what's another event? Uh, so this one is likely. This one's uh, super fun. Uh, so non-binary person uh, wins the raffle. Uh, so in a class of 230, uh, there's definitely going to be some non-binary individuals. Um, and so th there's a good chance that one of them might win um, this raffle. So congratulations if you do. Uh, and then the third one, uh, this one, again, we're going to go into kind of opposites, like when something doesn't happen. So a uh, third one is a person with purple hair. I've never seen any of your hair colors um, when I made this uh, video. So I don't know if we have any purple hair individuals in this class, uh, but I hope so. Purple hair is always super, super fun. Uh, so a person with purple hair loses the raffle. Um, and so again, we can go the opposite. We can say when something didn't happen. Um, Cool. So what's an event mathematically? If you think about it, everything we've done so far um, is that they've all been actually, yeah, we'll stop there and then we'll look at um, events mathematically um, in the next uh, section.